What's up, my name is Nick Number here for Troubleshoot, and in a previous video of mine, I covered installing and playing the Team Fortress 2 Classic mod on Steam. And if you watched that video, you probably know that it pops up in your Steam library. How exactly does it get here? Well, it simply gets here because we put it inside of the Source Mods folder in our Steam installation. So of course, we installed Source SDK, which is how this worked, but if we head across to C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and then source mods, we can find TF2 Classic over here. Now currently, this mod takes up around 10 gigabytes of space, and of course for some people that may be a large amount of space to take up on your main C drive. Unfortunately, you can't just create a new Steam library on another disk, like I have here on say E drive, games, Steam, and then you have the Steam apps folder, because if you make a source mods folder in here, and place the file inside of it, it won't be detected by Steam. It has to be in the default C Program Files Steam Steam Apps Source Mods folder over here. With that being said, how do we relocate the Source Mods folder onto another disk while keeping all of our games working inside of Steam? Well, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do in this video is move them and then create a symlink which basically links two folders or files on different drives as if they were existing on both of them at the same time instead of one pointing to the other. All that I'm going to do is close out of Steam completely by clicking Steam and exit. Then I'll choose a place to move my entire source mods folder. I'll cut it out of my existing Steam installation as such. Then I'll navigate to where I'm going to drop it. I'll put it in say E drive, games, Steam, Steam apps, where the rest of my games are. Because this is a hard disk, I have a ton of games installed here. So now that I've cut it from my C drive, I'll simply paste it into this folder over here. But of course, the location of these files doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's off of your SSD or simply in another file location, then this is going to work for you. So currently, I've moved this 10 gig folder from my SSD on the left to a hard disk on the right where I'm much more comfortable having it. So now that we've moved the folder across, how exactly do we get to linking them? Well, there's two ways of doing this. One of them is manually through the command line, and the other way is using a simple extension for Windows that there's a link to in the description down below. Of course, if you're curious about that, there'll also be a link to a video explaining how it works and some more tips for it. Assuming you have the program installed, all you have to do is right click on the source mods folder and then click pick link source. Then navigating back to Steam apps on our C drive, I can simply right click, drop as junction. And now we have a source mods folder that looks like it exists on C drive, but in fact it's pointing to the D drive over here. Of course, you probably won't have that program installed, so how do we make the symlink without installing anything third party? Well, we can do it with the power of Windows. Then press start, type in CMD, and then click run as admin. Now we've got a command prompt window open over here. All we have to do is type in mklink for make link space forward slash D, and then two quotation marks, space, another two quotation marks, as such. Inside of the first two, we're going to be putting the destination folder. So I'll go to my C drive and copy the Steam apps folder as such. Then I'll paste it in and add a backslash source mods as such. Then on the right hand side, we're adding where we're taking it from. In this case, it'll be my E Games Steam Steam apps source mods. So I'll copy this location and paste it in. As you can see, make link slash D, C program files 86 Steam Steam apps source mods will point to E games Steam Steam apps source mods. After I hit enter, now you can see a sim link is created. So now we've created the junction link as such. Simply opening up the Steam apps source mods folder points us to the source mods folder on our other hard disk over here. Let's go ahead and start up Steam to test it. Opening up the normal Steam client, then I'll head across to the library and we'll try opening up Team Fortress 2 Classic. And there we have it, the mod starts up as you expect from our other disk. I know it's a different disk because when I load into a map or anything like that, it is going to be a little bit slower as it's now on a hard disk rather than an SSD. Other than that, and the slight performance difference of having it on a faster or slower drive, nothing else really has changed. Of course, now we have extra space on our C drive for other programs and games that we'd like to have sped up. You don't need the source mods folder on your C drive, as a lot of mods you'll only play once or twice, end up not touching them again, or you won't necessarily need the extra speed that comes from putting it on a much faster Windows install SSD. That's about it for this video.
Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.